It's now less than 20 days until the U.S. picks a new U.S. president, and that's where we begin today. After Arizona and Georgia, early voting began in the battleground state of North Carolina on Thursday. According to the State Board of Elections, North Carolina saw strong voter turnout even after the state was battered by one of the deadliest hurricanes in 20 years. North Carolina turned more crucial this month after Hurricane Helene killed over 90 people and left nearly 100 missing all across the state. Both former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris have tried to capitalize on the disaster, which raises questions on how it might affect voter turnout. But if lying Kamala gets in, if she gets, can you imagine another four years like we've lived the last four? Think of it. People are dying in North Carolina. They're dying all over those five, six states. They're dying and they're getting no help from our federal government because they have no money, because their money's been spent on people that should not be in our country. If Lion Kamala gets four more years, instead of a golden age, America will instead be plunged into a dark age. Your family finances will be permanently destroyed. Your borders will be gone forever. They already are when you think of it, right? We don't have any borders. Moments of crisis, I believe, do have a way of revealing the heroes among us, the angels among us, and of showing us all the best of who we are. And these hurricanes have revealed heroes around all of us. Heroes who do not ask the injured or stranded, whether they are a Republican or a Democrat, but who simply ask, are you okay? Yeah. Who ask, what can I do to help? Donald Trump narrowly won North Carolina over President Joe Biden back in 2020. And the Republican also defeated Democrat Hillary Clinton in the Tar Heel State back in 2016. In fact, Barack Obama was the last Democrat to win the state back in 2008. However, this time early voting indicates that the state could swing either way. Uh, I voted straight across the board, Republican, voted for Donald Trump. Um, immigration, uh, the economy, uh, America first. You know, I feel that we should put the money where our mouths are here first instead of taking care of other nations. We need to take care of us first and then we can go out and help somebody else. Um, so we voted for Kamala Harris for president. Um, you know, we are really, we really care a lot about, um, you know, women's rights to choose. Um, we really care about our children and making sure that they get a good and honest education. Um, you know, yeah. And our, you know, keeping the, everybody, um, having the availability to be able to vote, but that is able to vote. A recent poll shows a fierce contest in North Carolina with Donald Trump ahead of Kamala Harris by just half a point. That said, the Democratic presidential nominee is leading her Republican rival by a thin margin in almost every national poll. With just 17 days to go in the election, early in-person voting will continue through November 2nd, and both sides will continue to scour every possible vote, every possible advantage, until the last ballot is in fact cast. First Post decodes the U.S. election explains how America chooses its president. Your primer on the race to the White House. Everything you need to know about how America votes and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained. Every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.